Dear students, today we are going to discuss activity on combustion of sugar. So today we are going to observe what are the changes that occur during the combustion of sugar. So before going to the activity, let me tell you what is combustion. Children, do you know what is combustion? Yes, combustion is a process of burning in the presence of oxygen to release carbon dioxide and energy. Combustion is a process of burning in the presence of oxygen to release carbon dioxide and energy. Yes, so before going to that activity, uh, let us discuss some points, some experiments conducted by Lavoisier and some statements given by famous scientists. Yes, during the late 18th century, a famous scientist, Lavoisier, during the late 18th century, a famous scientist Lavoisier came to the opinion that respiration is a type of combustion. He came to the opinion that respiration is a type of combustion and he also wrote in his compilation he also wrote in his compilation compilation is a essay written by him in, in the year 1783 in that book he told that he wrote that respiration is a type of combustion and it is a very very slow process in this activity oxygen not only combines with carbon carbon it also uh, reacts or combines with uh, hydrogen. So this is the statement given by a famous scientist Lavoisier regarding respiration and combustion. After him, a famous scientist called Robinson. Robinson also stated that respiration is a type of combustion and combustion is the source of heat in animals. So this is the introduction which is uh, the statements which are given by Lavoisier and Robinson regarding respiration and combustion. Now, let us observe an activity on combustion of sugar. Hmm. Yeah, dear students, when we burn sugar, actually I try to burn sugar in my house under a flame. And what I observed is, it changed into blackened substance. It charred first. Then it started to give flames. When sugar is burned, what happened? First it changed into blackened surface, that is it charred. After that it started to give flames. So this is done by me in our house. Yes. Yes. So we have seen how sugar is burned and how it is turned into black and char and then how it is producing flames. Now let us understand an activity in a laboratory. So see first observe this diagram children. Yes I hope you have understood by seeing this diagram itself. So see first what, if, what we have to take. First the apparatus or materials required for this experiment. So this is a test tube. What is this children? This is a test tube and this is also a test tube. So in this test tube glucose or sugar is taken and here one hold split cork is taken. This is a one hold split cork. From this a delivery tube is attached and the delivery tube one part of the delivery tube should be dipped in the lime water. So this is the experimental setup and this is a stand. It might be an iron stand or wooden stand. And this is a burner. First we have to heat. So our experiment itself is combustion of sugar. So we have to burn sugar. And observe what are the changes happening. So now first we have to heat the glucose or sugar solution. What happens? I told you already. When we burn glu glucose or sugar solution, it starts to char. It starts to char. What is the meaning of char? Yes. It becomes blackened. Then after it starts to give flames and after some time what happens is children from here a gas is released and that gas enters into this lime water and this lime water turns into milky white. My dear children in the process of combustion what you can see is carbon dioxide gas is released which turns the lime water milky white and also my dear children heat is also released the energy is released in the form of heat and water is also produced yes during the what you have observed during the activity on combustion of sugar children yes when we burn glucose or sugar solution in a test tube carbon dioxide gas is liberated which turns lime water milky white and also energy is released in the form of heat and water is also produced so i hope you have understood the activity on combustion of sugar now let us discuss the differences and similarities between respiration and combustion hmm. yes in the above activity in the previous activity we have seen that during combustion of sugar carbon dioxide water and energy is released in the form of heat and you 
You also know that respiration and products are also the same. In respiration also, glucose is burnt to give out CO2 and energy and water. So, respiration and combustion both uh, appears to be similar. But my dear children, there are some differences too. So, now let me tell you few differences between respiration and combustion. So, in the above activity, the glucose when it should be burnt, it should, when it is burnt in the laboratory conditions, what happens is, it needs high temperature. But if the same temperature is occurring, if the same temperature burning is occurring in our body cells, our total body cells will be burnt children. So it is not possible. And one more thing is that here combustion occurs in the absence of water. So if anything is burning, if you pour water, what happens? The combustion stops. But in respiration, respiration occurs in cells and cells have lots of water even though respiration continues. And my dear children, this combustion is an uncontrolled reaction. Once we start heating glucose, it is very hard to stop the heating of glucose. But in respiration, it is a controlled reaction. These are some differences and there are many more differences between respiration and combustion. Let me once again repeat you. Yes, respiration occurs in the... Yes. So, respiration occurs in the presence of water. Yes, it occurs in the presence of water. Whereas, combustion occurs in the absence of water. And my dear children, for the respiration to, uh, what is that, involve or happen, many enzymes are required. So, here in respiration, many enzymes are required. And here children, no enzymes. In combustion reaction, no need of enzymes. And in respiration reaction, we need enzymes. And here, respiration is a series of reactions. It does not take place in a single step. It is a series of reactions, several steps. But combustion is a single step. Here, the most important point, children, here in respiration, the energy release is stored in the form of ATP. Energy release is stored in the form of ATP. But here, the energy is not stored and it once, it, it, once it gives out a heat, it is not stored as ATP here in combustion. So, these are the basic differences between respiration and combustion and I also told you what are the similarities also. So, you should understand similarities also. In both respiration and combustion, oxygen is required. And in both respiration and combustion, energy is released. And in both respiration and combustion, heat is also produced. So, these are the similarities and differences between respiration and combustion. Now, let us discuss heat production in living organisms. Yeah. Heat production in living organisms. Yes, in living organisms also heat is produced. In combustion of sugar activity also we observe heat is produced. And in our body also heat is produced. In winter seasons we wear sweater. Why do we wear sweater children? Yes, sweater keeps us warm. Does sweater uh, brings out warm from somewhere else? No children. Our body releases heat. That heat is stored by the sweater and that sweater keeps us warm. So, we can simply say that heat is produced by living organisms. You know, simply you can test yourself. In the exhaled air, in the air which you give out, if you keep your hand like this and if you exhale air, you will feel warm. So, during the process of respiration, heat is also produced. So, this is the most important thing that heat is produced in the living organisms. During a strenuous exercise or vigorous exercise or when you are playing, when you are running, your body produces more amount of heat. Because more amount of oxygen is released, more, more amount of oxygen is needed to do more exercise. So, at that time what happens? More amount of oxygen is, what is that, sent to your body parts? and more amount of heat is also produced. So, the rate of heat production varies, it will not be the same. When we are doing a strenuous exercise, the heat production will be more children. Yes, during the cellular respiration, we discussed already, the energy is stored in the form of ATP and it is used for living activities and excess energy children is released in the form of heat. Excess energy is released in the form of heat by the living organisms in the process of respiration.
Yes, children. So hope you have understood this heat production in living organisms. And also, let me tell you, uh, deep breathing, deep breathing helps to restore your body health. For example, pranayama, the art of yoga bhyasa. When you take deep breaths, what happens is more amount of oxygen enters into your lungs and more amount of oxygen enters into your tissues and more amount of oxygen enters into your blood and more amount of oxygen reaches your brain and you will be active. So, please practice pranayama and keep your lungs healthy. Thank you so much.